Good afternoon, Fulton. Welcome to Hanson Huddle. Yes, it has been a while. I'm your host, Tony Hanson. Welcome to 2019. I know I had a little break there, but we're going to do the Hanson Huddle number three. My guest today is Christy Carell, What's special up? education teacher here at Fulton. Christy, hello. Hello. How's it going? Hanson? I'm doing well. Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit. I feel like I need a booster seat here to boost up. <laughs> Sorry. Don't, don't you have like five kids or I something? Got, I got a couple boosters there, in the there back. Booster seat yeah. here? So, Christy, we've been trying to do this for a couple weeks now, but our schedules haven't really matched up, so I'm glad we had this opportunity today. Um, I sent you some questions, you answered a bio, sure did. and let's talk about some of your answers. Let's do it. So, you're a local yokel. You're from here. I'm a Belleville girl. Belleville. You went to high school at? I went to Altoff, grew up in East Belleville, went to Altoff, yes. Catholic uniform thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Going St. Teresa first, then the Catholic uniform thing, and you know, my... My parents were, went to Catholic school, I went to Catholic school, and my kiddos are going to Catholic school, so yeah. But I love teaching in a But you talk school, to people who aren't Catholic, so though? I do, I, I do. I mean, I'm not Catholic, so... That's okay, I'll still okay. be your friend. So, fish on Fridays, then? Fish on Fridays, of mm, course. Okay. So, after Altoff, you went to... I went to Northern Illinois and DeKalb for four years. I wanted to kind of get away and go somewhere different where I didn't really know anybody, and nobody from my high school really went there, so... And what did you go there to do? What was your major? Business. I went in as a business major. I, I worked at, um, you know, Domino's in high school, and I had kind of a, a knack for opening and closing the store up and running that, so I thought I wanted to do business, but I changed my mind there a little bit along the road. you want to hear how I got into the special ed realm? Yeah, we'll get there. Okay, so, okay, so you're doing business. I'm doing business. Working all kind of jobs throughout college. You know, yeah, working on campus. You were hustling a little bit, selling pre cups before people went in the party they were charging <laughs> expensive you said i'm gonna sell all these red cups outside for cheaper business world right right um making some money on the red solo cups you know it, it's a it's a good little gig to it's go a into. must in college it is so at what point do you say i'm not doing business teaching is my realm i mean it was it was first it, it was Christmas time after I had had about a half a year at college and decided it wasn't it wasn't the thing for me I wasn't enjoying the classes um, I wanted something different so then you stayed at that school and be, got your teacher degree teacher certificate I did I went into the special ed program and you right away you special ed had to go right. that was your only right route. Um, so after college you graduate did you go to work teaching I did I got my first teaching job at a high school in Iowa uh, well, how, how, what took you to Iowa, Christy? You know, I followed my little uh, college <laughs> frat boyfriend to Iowa, who was a little bit older than me. So he said, he, "Come see the cornfields with me." He did. He was already there. So then I followed him there, and I taught for two years. One year in Muscatine, Iowa, to high school, and then um, Davenport West High School for a year. So then, come to your senses. That's not the guy. Right. You go to Omaha. Got rid of him. Live with dad. You start working there. Yep. He comes back here. You come back to Illinois. Yep. Back to the roots. Yep, yep. What was your job when you came back to Illinois? I taught in Collinsville at the middle school there. For um, one for year? One year. And did that. And it wasn't really my thing. Nothing. I mean, just it wasn't my fit. I wasn't enjoying it really. So. And then Panther Nation came a calling. Panther Nation came calling 13 years ago. 13 so I interviewed years. here. Um, I did the co-teaching thing for a while, and then I've been in the life skills classroom. So, yeah, this is wrapping up year 13 here at Fulton. I want you to know real quick, when I first came to Fulton, one of the things I remember uh, when I was getting a tour and walked around was meeting you and how nice you were to Aww. me and, like, welcoming. Well, that's so you sweet. were one of the ones. You were up there. So you and I have always been, like, good friends since this whole time, so I'm glad you're on the handsome huddle. Aww, okay, thanks. so... You're married now. I sure am. Husband John. Husband John. Two kids. Harper and William. Harper was in school with my son across she the street was, here for a little yes. bit. Nice little cute redhead yep, who yep. loves singing the they alphabet. They were buddies. Yep. I, that's still on video. Uh, funny story. Husband John. How long have you guys been married? Ten this year. So this is coming up on ten. Yeah. What's your engagement story? I thought that was pretty unique. Yeah, it has a little Fulton twist to it. It's fun. Um, went to the D.C. eighth grade trip took the bus ride that you know that's kind of the worst part of the trip I think is the bus ride definitely but um <laughs> if, you, if you've ever been to DC the day you leave you get up really early and you do um you're gone all day seeing DC and then you kind of leave that night so you drive overnight to get back home so mm -hmm. you you know it's it's a good day and a half two days you feel like since you've showered brushed your teeth you drive home all night and try to sleep and 
really early in the morning, one of the other buses broke down a few hours out. So they called the bus driver. We all pull over and just take the kids from the broken down bus and cram them onto our bus. So we were, nobody slept. It was pretty awful. And we get back here to Fulton and everybody's getting picked up and I'm still waiting. And John <laughs> says he's coming and I'm waiting and waiting. And uh, somebody, you want me to, I don't know if it was like Shane or Jeff, you want me to stay with you and wait? I'm like, nope. I just sat on my suitcase by myself outside of Fulton. So <laughs> no one, this boyfriend's coming to yeah, pick you up. Nobody's here. I'm the last person out of hundreds of us. And finally John comes to pick me up and I'm kind of like PO'd at him. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I want to go home. And he was late because he was setting up this, like, amazing proposal at home. He had rose petals and the whole deal. So I was kind of so annoyed you're with him. funky, and then mad, moody, tired I on the bus, home. smelling like bus. Yes, and he and does the sweetest and this thing. this romantic guy is proposing. He and does the like, sweetest thing. And when I felt like one of the <laughs> grossest moments of my life. But you did say yes, right then. I did then. say yes. Okay, so And then I hopped in the shower and brushed my teeth. And then we went out and celebrated. Great. Yeah. So we hit 10 years and yep. everything's going great. He's going a principal great. at a Catholic school in Millstock. So yeah. that's. Yeah, Freeburg. Yeah, Freeburg. He is. He is. Yep. Not Millstock. Sorry. I knew, no, no, I knew yeah. it was Freeburg. Yep. Um, so, some other things. So, you have a birthday coming up. I do. It's on our little fun day here, May 22. So, we're having a field day for Christy's birthday. Yes. That's what I hear. Yep. Okay. Um, we have a lot of similarities here. Mexican food is a oh, must. Yeah. We for like sure. tequilas there in Freeburg. Oh, yeah. We uh -huh. go all the time. Uh -huh. um, so when they did their animal and dog cat thing, you are dog person. Oh yeah, Two for dogs. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my friend runs a rescue. We've res we've fostered dog before too, but I think two is our max now. I don't think I want to do that. What's your favorite eggs? Over easy. You too. Yeah. I mean, of it's, it's so easy. So um, one of the questions I ask you is, uh, tell tell something, tell me something that your coworkers don't know yet because now they're gonna find out. Yeah. So you told me the story. I've heard little bits and pieces, but you have a extra child. You named Harper and Will, but now you have another child. Yeah, yeah. We have, um, for the last four months, we've had a little sweet girl named Christy from Belize living with our family. Christy and Christy. Uh-huh. Christy and Christy. It was a match. Uh, she's going to be 13 in a month, and I have a friend who's helped out with the Belize Children's Project before, and basically these Shriners doctors go to these poor places in Belize, and they do these clinics, and if there's something wrong, they can bring the kids to America. Um, and do surgery and help them. And this little girl had a accident when she was three and couldn't use her hand. So she's been here. She's had her surgery. She's doing great. And she goes back to Belize in about a month now. So some of my friends here know, but some don't. But um, it has been awesome. And Very people, awesome story. People have, share. people have asked me about it, so I'll give a shout out. If anybody else is looking to host a lovely child from Belize. See I how can, she's taking over the handsome I, um, hurdle? This is your own little I recruiting can give you, Belize I can give children. you the contact information. And uh, <laughs> you can have another Belizean living with you for a while. But it's been a neat experience. I'm for glad sure. your family is partaking that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's benefiting from that. Yeah. And this girl especially. Yeah. So... No, we're doing all right, right? Yeah, I think okay. so. You want to... i got some other questions. Now, no, you don't know these questions. You ready for some off-the-wall questions not here? Not really, not really. No, they're easy. I'll start out okay, easy. Okay, okay. What's the last concert you attended? Oh, my gosh. I'm supposed to go to that many concerts. Okay, if you, not the last. What was your most favorite? Which one concert? Garth Brooks, but it, Garth wasn't Brooks. This, it wasn't this last time he was here. It was a while ago, but he was awesome. I'd go see him again in a second. Garth Brooks. But you didn't go this last time when no, he came to St. Louis, but not. you'd go see him again. Yeah, for sure. If he ever came Absolutely. to St. Louis. Again, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, amusement parks. Do you like music? I do. Parks? What's I'm your a roller, roller coaster? Roller coaster rider. Uh, Screaming Eagle Six Flags. I like the old wooden ones. Those old. Screaming Eagle. Yeah. Got it. Front seat or the back seat? Front. Isn't it the rumor where the back Leslie comes whiplash off the track or something? A little bit? Yeah. Okay. So front seat. So we were we were trying to do this last week, and I had a question, and I still want to go to it. So on four two, my birthday by the way. Oh. Just shout out to myself. Happy um, related. Is also World Autism Day. Yep. But did you know it's also National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. What? I did not know this. So what is your favorite jelly that you put on the peanut butter? Strawberry all the way. Okay. Do you know about Uncrustables? I do. My kids love them in their lunches. Found that out last summer. Greatest thing. Uncrustables, yeah. if you don't know what they are, look them up. If you have kids, Uncrustables, yep. way to go. We're still doing good, right? <laughs> do you remember when you could buy the peanut butter and jelly combined in the jar and it yeah. was like in rows? But they don't do it anymore? But that was gross. I don't know if you still do it, but no, that was I'm, gross. No, I've never. We, we never yeah, I'm with you. I'm never in that. Okay. Now we're going to ratchet up. So you do get one mulligan. You can pass one time. Oh, so, All right. Now they were still good. If you win the lottery, what's the first thing you do? Come in and have a little conversation with my boss, Mrs. Wills. And tell her, bye. I we're love out. you. But... <laughs> well, I got to go. Um, so if you were not a teacher, what would you be doing right now? Oh, I love 
looking at houses, real estate, something with real estate, love watching House Hunters, House Hunters International, um, a real estate agent, or just like a really rich stay-at-home mom. But I'd have to be rich so I could... Any nicknames you have? Have stuff to do Or with growing that. up, maybe in school? You know, my maiden name's Hogan, so it was Hoagie. Hoagie. Okay. Uh, your lunch, I hear a lot of stories come out of your lunch. A little survivor. If you could vote one person off the lunch island, uh -huh. who's leaving your lunch? Oh my god, this is definitely the mulligan. Uh, is it mulligan too, to is it too early? I thought that'd be easy. Like kick somebody out of my lunch. They gotta go. They're going to another lunch. They send them to my lunch. No, no? I'm mulligan. You that. like the whole lunch. I like okay? them all. I'm not. How no. many aides do you have in your classroom? Four. How many have been over to your house? Zero. Do you guys want to come over sometime for <laughs> no, happy hour? That's a formal invite. Come on okay? over. Okay, would you rather, so you pick one, would you okay. rather? Would you rather have a pedicure or manicure? Pedicure. Would you rather sit down at a family restaurant or go to a fish and sandwich and have a Miller Lite? Fish sandwich, Miller Lite, all the way. Scuba dive or skydive? Skydive. Okay, would you be attracted to a guy in blue jeans and a flannel or a suit, tie, and vest? Blue jeans and a flannel. Okay. Would you rather be known for a good dancer or being a good singer? Oh, good singer. You're a good singer? I'm not a good singer. I wish I was. Well, I think it's about time we find out if you're a good singer. So, you ready to do this? Oh, crap. Let's, let's get ready. Let's do this. Let's see what we have what here. What song or what have we got going on here? You ready? I'm ready. This is all you. I'm ready. You got to do it with me. Well, it's supposed to be going on. Bye. Oh, this is your jam. Well, Wycliffe. Put your red shoes on. Come on there you go. to the disco. We're gonna elope to Mexico. I think my favorite part's coming up. Come on. I'm just gonna sit back and watch this video. Christy. She dances. <laughs> it don't make her a home. No. Maxi, put your red shoes on. we go going to the disco. We're gonna elope to Mexico. Called up my mom. Oh. Um, my name is Tokyo. I was blessed with the body of the goddesses. Have you any idea how hard this is? I can put some 25 positions, but I only work here to pay top tuition. No, Didn't know this was coming. Tease, uh, tabletop, please. Uh, give me what I need. Uh, <laughs> I, that's not that. please, uh, I don't know if they can handle you. Okay, you probably okay, could. Okay, I can you probably could. That was awesome. So, here on the Hanson Huddle, I like to reward my. That was great, by the way. Oh I am like gosh, blown away. I think people Thank are going to be like, Thank wow. You. You may have to do that the yeah, next lip sync battle we do for Yeah, okay. uh -huh. So I like to give rewards to people who come on my show. You took your time to come on. So you told me that one of your favorite things was Almond Joy is your favorite candy. Oh, so we're not out. sponsored, but I like Thank the little you. candy. That was sweet of you. Um, I know it's getting hot. I, I see a lot of teachers with water bottles. I want to make sure you stay hydrated. So I got you some <laughs> Hanson Huddle water only. <laughs> Don't oh, open that place while you're in school. It's Hanson Huddle water. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Have fun? Yeah, have fun. I appreciate blast. you coming along. It wasn't that bad. I hope you weren't too nervous. It wasn't that bad. I was a little nervous. We're over our time. Good. We are. But we can, we will make that work. This is important. People need to know everything and definitely need to see you sing for 30 seconds. So I like to always wrap up my show with a quote. Teachers a lot have quotes, and you told me you have a favorite one that like inspires you. So Christy, I love you have a quote? reading Roll Doll in my classroom, and I have this in my classroom. If you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeams, and you will always look lovely. Perfect. Hope you had a good time. Hanson uh, Huddle 3, 4 is already in the works. Christy, if you have a recommendation, tell me that off camera. Awesome. And we'll see who we can get next in the Hanson Huddle. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Happy spring. Happy Easter. Have an enjoy spring break. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! We're out. Bye.